Hello, sugar plums. My name is Evelyn and this channel is Planning Day Eve. And today in this video, we are going to take my pre-plans from this notepad that came in the Teresa Collins Be Happy box, which you can get today. Shameless plug. Um, <laughs> on the Happy Planners website. And we're taking my pre-plans and putting them in my mini planner. So if you're interested to see how I did that and how I think it benefited me this week, please stay tuned. <laughs> Well, I hope you're having a great week so far and I want to stop and say hello to some of our new viewers and welcome my regular sugar plums back. <laughs> if you are new to the channel, let me just tell you that on this channel, I like to share what I'm learning, my silly and my talents. I happen to be a woman who believes in God, a wife and a mother of three, almost four children. And I like to show you just kind of how what I'm learning affects my planning style. So if you're interested in keeping up with that, or you think it might help you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It won't, it won't hurt you. And hit that auto notification bell as well, so you will not miss out on any more content from this channel. Now, as I said, we're gonna see how writing these plans out on a notepad helped me. Really what it did was it helped me in decorating because I um, kind of get a little anxious with putting down stickers because I wanna make sure that I'm gonna have enough room in my mini planner. What I simply did this week was while my husband and our children went to the grocery store, I sat in the car just to, you know, kind of give that support. <laughs> and I wrote out everything that I knew was going on. Now, typically when something happens, I either am texting someone to set up an appointment or I put it in my calendar. So that's what I do. That's where I'm pulling it from. I am not pulling it from my mind most of the time because otherwise I will forget. I really just kind of went for it at first. I put down stickers where I knew I didn't have a lot of things going on. You can see that my calls and my emails are very hefty this week. So I did not put any stickers in that box. Um, as you see what's coming up and what's unfolding, of course, I am in the Squad Girl sticker book. I like to call this an OG sticker book. Um, <laughs> I, you know, it's kind of like a term some planner women use uh, due to a way, way back uh, chat on a live, uh, maybe last year, I think. I don't know. But anyway, OG stickers are just stickers that are not a part of any new release from the Happy Planner. Um, and we want to make sure that we're using things that are in our stash, right? Or if you happen to find some stickers on sale that are not a brand new release, don't have any shame in your game, put that sticker in your planner, it's cute. <laughs> so writing it down here just kind of showed me what days I actually have appointments for. And that kind of let me know, know where I can put more stickers, right? Because we want to use all the stickers. my things to do, the dinner, and my goals for this week um, was really something different for me. Um, writing down my goals was so crucial. So as you can see, I even placed a sticker for my goals in this week's mini planner, and I normally don't do that. And I also had little icon stickers to be little nice markers. This is another great way for me to not 
be so panicked about decorating my planner. It's something that is supposed to be fun and relaxing for me, um, but sometimes I get in the way just because I'm a creative person. Um, I get in my own way. And this little sheet really helps me plan all of my plans and do it a little bit quicker than normal. So, as you can see, pre-planning just really helped me kind of get back into the groove of using my planner. I've been a little rusty and that's okay. It happens sometimes. I'm also a creative person and I overthink things like putting a sticker on the page. That's also okay, but I'm glad that I found out um, that I could just pre-plan it and go a little bit quicker and not take up most of my time. I hope this information in this video helped you. Um, if it did, let me know down below. Please make sure you hang around, check out some of my spoofs. I really enjoy doing those for you guys. I hope to have out some more soon. There's a playlist for that. And definitely check out some more videos that are coming later this week. Also, <laughs> if you're a returning Sugar Plum, let me know if you enjoyed this new format of seeing my face um, and talking to me about what I did in my planner this week for this week. And if you're new and you have some planning questions, definitely also put that down below because I want to keep the conversation going with you. And I think I'm pretty good about responding in my comments. So until next time, you make sure you enjoy your planning day just as a little kid would enjoy Christmas Eve. Okay, bye. And I'll see you. I didn't know what to say. <laughs>